or Wednesday, fun workout today. Starting tomorrow, you're gonna go two sets of this. High knees, very similar, or actually the same thing we did Monday. You're gonna go fast, high knees. Give it about 10 steps, or 10 yards, whatever you have, into those butt kickers. Then, fun hops, literally just two feet bounces, just warming up the calves, and then zombie walks. Getting the hamstrings, keeping the legs as straight as possible. Once we're done with that, you need a band. Any band actually works. You just remember you got a double loop band. I'll actually demo with the band. So you double loop the band. We're gonna go banded monster walks. We're gonna go below the knees. You're gonna go ten. Steps to your left, into 10 steps to your right. Then you're gonna go 10 total steps forward, and then 10 total steps backwards. If you want more tension, get a, um, you can double loop the bands, or you can add another band, put it above your knees. This actually adds a little bit more activation, or if you have a slingshot or something somewhere, these ones are way better, work really good too. <laughs> So that's the warm up. For the workout, this is an aerobic consistency piece. It's, it's literally for 35 minutes. Just 35 minutes of just straight work. It's, pacing is going to be slow. So remember your heart rate, 180 minus your age. For me, I think it's 152. You want to maintain in that aerobic range, or you can look at it from rate of perceived exertion, what we've been talking about for the last few weeks. Uh, scale one to ten. Ten being intense, one being low intensity. This one's about four or five. So you should be able to talk full sentences, maybe even have almost a full conversation with somebody. So that's where the intensity is at for this. So it's going to be max calories in 35 minutes. You can use any apparatus you want. I have a rower here, and I also have a bike. I use the bike, um, and it doesn't matter what kind of bike you use. The, I'm going to demo two different things for the rower. So you want long poles with the rower. The bike, any bike you have may not, there's nothing really that can help you get those calories faster. All I'm going to kind of show you is seat height for that to kind of get the full maximum power out for your legs. From here, long slow pulls. I'll demo both in just a second. So it's going to go max calories in 35 minutes. Every 30 calories, so whatever app machine you're on, you're going to go into a 400 meter run. If you're doing the bodyweight version, it's going to be max distance in 35 minutes. So every 400 meters, you're going to do 20 up downs. If you don't know what the up down is, it's literally that down, rear back up, no jump at the top. You'll do 20 up downs. Now, if you're rowing, you want to treat this as a slower effort. So I like to keep the straps loose. I don't actually tighten them when I do this. And then when you go in, remember we're treating it like a deadlift. Heels should be planted, drive them, and then pull. I'm in one, two, one, two. So it's drive and then pull. I have a slight lean back, but I'm not over exaggerating or anything like that. So I'm driving and then pulling. Drive and then pull. Fully extend your arms and then come back in. Just like that. Doesn't need to be any crazy. Just think one, two, one, two. Now, if you're biking, again, this kind of just works for me to get maximal power output. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Been obsessed with the echo right here. You want it to where it's almost like at your hip, almost as tall as your hip. And then when you're going down, you should be able to almost fully extend the knee as you come down. If you can fully extend it, it may be a little too long, but whenever I'm riding, it actually is just like, you can tell it's not fully extended. And I also have the seat pushed forward, or I'm not sitting back like that, so I'm using a lot more of the quads. Those are just some two tips for the workout. For the accessory work, we got 10, you can use dumbbell or kettlebell. 
how I'll press. So we're just holding here. 10 total reps into 30 seconds of flutter kicks. And then finishing with a 50 foot, which is going to be about 16 steps for guys, 14 for ladies. 50 foot farmer carry. So you're going to want two kettlebells or two dumbbells. <clears throat> and you're going to hold them both here. If you have one kettlebell, do 50 foot one direction and then do 50 foot the other arm. So we're just holding nice and tall. Good posture, squeezing the abs, ribs down. We're walking for our 50 feet. Then we will switch sides. Kettlebell or dumbbell should be heavy. Enjoy your workout.